Hi everybody, thank you for watching today. So I'm super excited because I've got a new release for you and this is my twist and pop cards. So I've got three new cards. I've got a six by six, five by seven and a six by four and I have three new themes. So I've got magical, garden and celebration. There's stamps, there's dies and there's a new paper pad as well. So let's have a closer look. Okay, so this is everything in the new release, but what I thought I'd do is, first of all, I'll show you a card example. In case there's anybody there who is unfamiliar with the Twist and Pop, this is the kind of card that you can create. So this is a six by six. I haven't decorated all of the fronts because these are actually all samples that I took on TV and they were displayed open, so I didn't need to do anything on the back. But basically you would have your you know, decoration on the front, open the card, and then this will pop out. So this is one sample that I made using the garden collection which I really love. You can see one of the seam papers in the background there and just some of the tools that you can die cut using the dies there. They're just, I love them. And then I've got the lovely bees stamped there from the stamp set. So that's just one example in the 6x6. Six six. I'll give you an example of the magic. Let's do this one here. I'm just grabbing any one. So there's the magic one. Again, lots of fun. There's the stamped images of the de uh, playing cards there. You've got a silhouette of the rabbit. And then that hey presto sentiment which is cut into the card. And that is the rabbit's ears popping out of the hat there, which I really love. And um, I'll show you a little bit more of that in detail. And then I'll give you this one here. This is the 5 by 7 And it pops open and this is the celebration. So you have the birthday cake there. You've got party hats, wine glasses balloons and again you can see the papers on the back of that one so that's the card style that you'll be able to create with these dies and stamps here so this is the paper pad so it's a seam paper pad the last seam paper pad that I done for Christmas done really well and completely sold out so we've done this one here so you've got magic celebration and the garden background so you get this one here which is really nice there with the magic ball or the crystal ball. You've got the wand dice. You've got the magician's hat and the bunnies. Really, really like it there. Playing cards. You've got the masks and roses, hearts. And then this is one of the garden scenes. You can stamp directly onto this here at the bottom and build your scene. And you've got your fireworks there so this would be great for a new year's card i actually do have a new year's card which i'll show you in a moment but also for birthdays it looks really nice and then you've got your champagne bottle there and the glasses with the bubbles and you've got this one really fun love the bunny there popping out and then you have this one here with the butterflies with that kind of meadow really really pretty and then you're back to the beginning again so this one here is 180 gsm and you get four each of six designs and it's an eight by eight paper pad and then these are the actual stamps. Now I only have the packaging for the 6x4 and the 5x7 because I got these, you know, very early on. So we were still, you know, getting the packaging sorted. But this is the size of the packaging, how it looks. And then you can see everything. Now you get so many dies. So, you know, when you see this, you kind of think, oh, they're quite small. They're not. They're big dies. This is just how we squeeze it all in onto the packaging there. And you can see you've got all your mechanism parts here. And the dies in here will actually cut the card blank. And I want to mention, if you're someone that likes to cut your card blanks, then I would say that you would, you would need a large die cutting machine for that reason. However, if you already have your card blanks, and when I'm talking card blanks, I'm meaning, you know, this, this piece. So this, this is a die that has cut this shape and put the score line through the middle. If you already have your cards, you know, you've maybe brought them from the store, then all of these dies, the 6x6, the 5x7 and the 6x4 will all fit through a standard die cutting machine. All right, so the only thing that makes these dies need a larger machine is just if you want to cut your base card. This is a matte layer, that's a matte layer for your panel, and then these are all your dies. Now, a lot of the dies are also stencils, and you'll see that with some of the samples as well that I'll show along the way. Um, so that's the packaging, but this is actually the dies. So you can see there just how big they are. This one here is a really nice panel, like edge die. We haven't put the cutting line there along the bottom and it just means that you can do so much more with it and I'll be showing that in future tutorials. And this is the rabbit with the ears popping out of the hat there and that's the gap there means that you can use it as a stencil. And again with the dice, you use those as a stencil. You've got the little wand there. And I'll bring in my little tray here because again you can see there's the wand and I've just backed it with some red card 
it looks really really cute and here's the playing cards in the stamps and I just layered them up to fan them out but you can see they're just like so you can just cut those ones out and here is the rabbit popping out of the hat you can see what I mean there about just inking up so if you just I cut that one you leave it in the dye and then just with a little blending bud or brush just pop some pink if you were doing this for example and then when you take it away you'd have that so it's a really nice easy way to add the detail to the dies and then you've even got your little playing cards there and again you use those as stencils but it's, it's just so fun and then on the back are the dies so you can see there's that big one but actually in fact I haven't put my mechanism in from when I've done my demo these are the, the pieces that you need to make the pop-up piece and you can put this in any size cards that you want really you, you know you some of them might catch you just have to help them close but they would still work and um, I know a lot of people already that have because I had my launch on Hachanda and I've done my craft stash launch people are already saying that they're going to use theirs in their mini albums and on scrapbook pages and all that kind of thing so you know they're not just for using in your card you can do so much more with these so that's the magic one the die and then I'll just show you these stamps now you can buy all this separate but we do have bundles on at the moment the current offer as I'm doing this launch and our date you know I'll put the date of the offer you can currently get with any bundle so any die and stamp you can get the paper pad for half price and you just need to enter the code twist I'll link that below but it will expire so you know you won't get it for too much longer Here's the stamp set, mine are heavily used, so there are stains on them, but again, stains do not damage the stamps and they just work you know, perfectly, so don't, don't worry. But you've got have a magical birthday, believe in the magic, surprise, you are something magical. And then you've got the dice, you've got some little stars, you've got all of the different playing card in, images there, and then you've got your four playing cards there as well. So you know me, I always like to do something a bit different. Okay, next, let's have a look at the celebration. So actually before I do that, let me just show you the samples of that magic. So I've got lots here. Um, so I showed you that one. So there's your Hey Presto. And then I showed you this one here. So that's the front with the bunny. You can see I haven't stenciled in the pink on that one, but it still looks great. And then you open this one up and you have all of that lovely detail. Just all, you know, down to the little key there and the, the diamond. There's the pat, you know, the playing cards together there, and then these ones. Well, what I done is I done, you know, these as kind of playing cards, but these were for inspiration on how to decorate the fronts. So I did do it so that, for example, that one would go on the front of this card, and then when you open it, this one pops out. You got the magic there. Looks really cool, and all of the sentiment dies are designed to to die cut into the paper. And again, you'll see that in the future tutorials and I'll explain that more. And then let's say this one, yeah, I think this one. So you'd have that one on the front. Again, really like, just love all this detail. And all of these little dies, they're all from the die set. And then you open it up and you can see the silhouette of that border die that I've done in the centre there. You can see the dice, there's the wand and then there's that lovely pattern paper on the back. And then this one, we've gone on the front, so kept it quite simple, put lots of sparkle on the, the dove there as well. And then you'd open this one and you have this inside. I've just kept that all with the silver. Some of the holographic card there as well. I think it looks really nice. And then happy birthday sentiment at the bottom. And then I've got this one here with the playing cards through the middle. I even love the gloves. I think that's really cool as well believe in the magic and then I have this one could go on the front so just use the playing cards there and just stamped all those smaller images and then again you can see the magic mm -hmm. those papers and then this one thought I had a front for it but oh no this was a sample that I'd done live on Hachanda so I've got the hay presto to the left there a little cluster of those die cuts and then I've stamped the playing cards along the bottom and then you've got the silhouettes there and you can see I've got the wand and the, the gloves there or the hands, if you do it in black it's just like hands if you do it in the white on the black then it looks like gloves and you've got the have a magical day as well okay so that's those samples, then we've got the 5x7 so that was this one here that I showed you okay so 
let's look closely at the dies because again they are huge just look how big let me just take out here just look how big that one is and this is the kind of thing that you can create and this is for my new year's card so if i just grab it's at the top here so this one would go on the front and then you'd open it up and you have 2021 new year and there is happy up there as well and these are using my alphabet dies so it's just a nice you know just a quick idea there um, but i just loved the the bottle there and that's the celebrate sentiment as well that comes in the die set you can see the celebrate there you've also got the wine glasses i love the present and i'll show you this one here this is probably one of my favorites because i love the bold color look at that it looks great so i've stamped the background here using the celebrate and then all of the different numbers stamps and that is from this one here so you've got them all along here you can see you've also got your party poppers there you've got like streamers or it could be a firework and then you've got little images here you've got the birthday present happy birthday celebrate and enjoy your day and then this is this lovely background and i'll show you that again in more detail which is here so you can see that's all embossed on the back here. How nice is that? It's really it's got lovely texture to it as well. So that is showing you the presents and the cake again. And then you've got the hat and you've got like the rocket with the streamers. And then this, you can see how big this is. And again, you don't have the cut line at the bottom. So you can use this as a topper on lots of things. But I'll give you a card sample. So this one here, you can see I've put it along the top here and I've used the balloons as a stencil to ink the different colour there so you know done something a bit more I guess masculine or for anybody that loves blue and I've just done stars along the bottom there and then what else can we show you on here you got the balloons I love this one which is your crackers they've just been pulled apart and then all of these are all different like little streamers you've got one there one there one there and that will give you this effect you can see there loads of them and there's the different dies again so there's the cracker and the cake party hat and the present and then this one the rocket again with the stars i think that looks really nice love that one love the color love the tutti frutti and also what i've done is if you just sometimes you have when you put these in you have to get them straight and um you may the only thing that's going to happen if you were a bit wonky is it may catch but an easy way around that is to just cut little you see I've cut like a little wedge in the tops there and it will just mean that when it closes, it closes without catching. So it's just a little tip, but you'll see me do that in tutorials. So that's the Celebrate. And again, on the back there, you can see the dies, but again, that's your mechanism piece. And then the panel die is, oh, where have I put my panel die? Oh, I've just popped that down somewhere because <laughs> I've just not long done some more demos, but it's that one. And then it's just one that's about that big and a little bit longer. Again, will fit through a standard machine. It's these dies that make, you know, the card blank that are obviously larger. So we just put them in there. It's just, you know, some people do like to cut it themselves. So that is the Celebrate. And then the garden. I think the garden and the magic are probably my favorites. I just think they're a little bit different and I love the bees in this one here these bees bee images are gorgeous i love the grass you've got the meadow border here and then this panel looks lovely heat embossed but also colored and you'll be seeing that as well in future tutorials and even this one looks really cool the fence and then you have just because bees and butterflies all welcome garden and be happy and these will work across my other cards that i've already released as well so the wipers the sliders the tower fold and the pop-up ones, you can use elements onto that as well. And then obviously this new one now. So here you can see the dies again, very big dies. This one here, I love this die. And these look nice wrapped and you can have them wrapped around like a candle or a gift box. There's so much you can do with these. And uh, my brain's already full of lots of ideas. But if I just bring my tray in again, there's that die. So you can imagine if I get, I mean, that's not the best example to use, but you can just get an idea of wrapping it around something. So you imagine that around the bottom of a gift box or something to match the card that you're making. That's the one with the rabbit. 
again just to give you an idea I've trimmed the bottom so obviously we don't have the cut line there so you can trim it to whatever you want look at the uh, wheelbarrow and again the wheelbarrow like a lot of the dies will work as a stencil so that's actually brown ink that I've, I've inked up through the stencil I've just added a little silver handle I've die cut the wheel just with some black card as well and then you can see if I show you this was the one that I just made on my Facebook craft stash live and this one I actually done in a vertical orientation rather than a horizontal which the others are I think it's turned out really well but you can see here the wheelbarrow and then I've used all the different flowers along the top there we've even got Colin the caterpillar just in there but you can see how that looks and then on this side look I know there's a die that does this which is just brilliant I just think it's such a nice addition but how lovely are these bees I just think they look so so pretty and then the relax which is cut into this paper here I just think it all comes together really nicely and you can see here again just how big these are so just die cut it in brown then die cut it again you know in silver at the bottom isn't it cute I mean my dad's a huge gardener he's got friends who are gardeners even my mum so these kind of things they're just so nice for lots of people they're great retirement cards, just relaxing cards, birthday cards. And even for someone who maybe has a wedding in their garden, you could turn these into wedding cards in some way. But look, I've got a little ladybird there. That's just one of the trees. I just need to add the flowers. Um, what else? I've used quite a lot. Oh yeah, we've got the watering can. Let me show you. So I've just die cut a few of them, but I've done a green one. I've got grey ones there as well. You've got your dragonflies and there's butterflies as well there's all sorts in there and again if I just hold it up you can see these are the dies which were just die cut there's one there as well but this is the heart one that I just showed you so that will just die cut the stitch detail into the paper or cardstock whatever you use and it's the little bee trail or the flies or the butterflies you know whatever flying little insect or creature you have these look really nice just behind but you can see just how big they are there. and there's the flower dies you've got grass here as well and the width of that is the width of the panel if it's in a portrait um, got, there's the spade you've got your plant pot and then enjoy and relax so let me just show you and I've got another little one to show you as well of a, another way that you can use the border dies so that was the one I showed you at the beginning you can see the papers there and then this one so there's that meadow I've just done it as a silhouette so I just stamped it all in black and then here's the meadow and I've actually coloured it and I've put glossy accents there we go on the tops of the flowers and I just think it looks so pretty and I've put glossy accents on the wings as well really do like this card it's lovely and then this one here I think I must have I've got a bit of glue there this was again these have traveled with me some of these so but look at the wheelbarrow at the bottom there with all like the daisies and you can see this is that panel running right the way through and there's the butterfly dies and then that paper and then this one so you can see the stamped image of the fence and I've used the flower the bee and the butterfly there and that's again using my alphabet dies and then this one and you can see the background there which has been heat embossed but I'm going to do a coloured one and I've got the dragonfly, I've got a little garden sign this is the garden dye this is the grass dye here and then I've done the papers at the bottom this time with enjoy and then just some of the tools and again you see the caterpillar and I've put some glossy accents on him I think they look great and this is using my dragonfly embossing folder in the background here as well and it's just a nice little extra there but I also wanted to show you what else you can do with those border dies so here is a cute little pop-up box card and you can see what I've done is this back piece is using the panel die so if I just flip this one over here so this die here you can see just folded in half and then I've die cut again this with the grass and fence to give you that piece and then I've just started building up there's still a little bit more I want to add to this but I just wanted to show you what other things you can do with the dies they don't just have to be used 
you know, as for the twist and pop. And also all of these can be used with the other kinetic card styles that I have. There's just so much scope for this. So I do need to finish that one off, but I do really like it. I think it's turned out really cute. Okay, so there are my twist and pop cards. So I hope you've enjoyed this latest release. I can't wait to see what you make with them all. And I can't wait to start sharing more ideas using them. So I'll be releasing tutorials for the 6x6, the 5x7 and the 6x4, but I'm also going to be doing tutorials where I mix these up with my other dies and just start to, you know, think of some new fun ways to use them as well because I'm always, that's what I kind of like to do. So thank you for watching and I'll be back again very, very soon. Bye.